Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. I'm back with yet another creamy yet very very moisturizing dip conditioning treatment. Now if you dip condition your hair on a regular basis guys, I promise you that your hair is not going to fall out. Now lots of you guys like the previous videos that I shared with you while I was sharing how to make um, some deep conditioning treatments and some of you guys actually went ahead and tried them and I had really positive things um, about that and yeah it's really encouraging to show you guys more and these things I do trial my hair as well so if it works well you will definitely get to see the video because there's love in sharing um, so if you're interested in how to make this definitely make sure that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the steps and also instructions on how to use it the good thing about this deep conditioning treatment is that it contains only three main ingredients uh, th and those are really easy ingredients to find and i'm pretty sure that you will have that in your kitchen guys honestly to grow long healthy thick natural hair you do not have to break the bank and I'm basically just here to show you how to do it because these things have definitely worked for me and I do believe that it will work for you too if you can learn one thing or two and lots of other people have testified that this um, DIY recipes has helped their hair out so yeah I'm just I'm just here for you guys so make sure that you thumbs up the video and also subscribe if you're not ready and then let's hop right into the video so to begin with we are going to need some oats this is our first ingredient so you can use any oats of your choice as long as it's not sugary or flavored this is just the regular oat that I've, I've got for my supermarket rolled oats would be fine for this as well now, I shared with you guys previously a very good deep conditioning treatment using just oats again. And again, the feedback with those ones were, with that one was really amazing. Oats are really, really good um, because it contains zinc and iron and also omega-6 fatty acids. And these help to stimulate dormant hair follicles and promote hair growth. With regular use, you will notice that your hair, your hair appears thicker, longer and also stronger. So I use 4 tablespoons of oats and I'm just adding some just normal water. It doesn't have to be warm guys, just normal water. And then close the jar and allow it to sit for about 5 hours. So this is what it looks like after it's sat around for a good 5 hours. So at this point the oats at the bottom are really really soft just like if you're making like overnight oats for example um, that's the kind of texture that it had so I'm just gonna give it a gentle stir then I'm gonna go ahead and use my hand blender and just give it a little bit of a blend it doesn't have to be you know really really smooth what we want to achieve from this is oat milk if you have pure oat milk that you've got in your house and maybe that you made before please feel free to use that as well but i prefer to make it this way because i know it is you know 100 percent pure basically so i'm now using a wig cap here and i'm just going to go ahead and sieve it and then what we're left with is basically the milk just like you can see here now we're going to move on to the next step after we finish this So here is your milk, it's really nice and ready. If you want, you can actually use this to eat cereals. Um, but yeah, we'll be using it to basically make this dip conditioning treatment. So I'm now gonna go ahead and add in some corn starch. So corn starch, again, really, really beneficial for hair because it helps to absorb excess oil and sweat on the scalp. It helps to regulate your pH. It prevents um, scalp odor, it, pro it promotes high growth, reduces freeze, it adds volume and thickness to thin or fine hair as well. So it's quite beneficial, um, you know, in your hair regimen. So I use one and a half tablespoon of cornstarch and I'm just giving everything a really nice stir until the cornstarch has completely dissolved or melted in the um in the oatmeal that we made earlier now i'm transferring transferring it trans or oh, english i'm transferring it into this um little pan 
and I'm going to pop it on the stove. You want to make sure that you're there and stirring guys. You don't want to leave this. I got a little bit distracted um, initially and it went a little bit lumpy. So you don't want that to happen guys. So immediately when you put it on the stove, while your pot is getting hot, make sure that you're there stirring. Um, so that when it does get hot, that you have a nice homogeneous kind of texture. Um, I'm going to show you how I was able to rescue this a little bit later on. It kind of looks smooth for the most part, but you did have a little bit of lumps in it. And that's what you don't want because that will get stuck in your hair. Okay, guys. So it's important that you're there to stir quite frequently. So after the mixture thickens, take it off the stove. If you've had a really nice smooth texture without the lumps, then skip this process. You can just go ahead to the next one, which I'm going to show you. So I'm literally just... Um, using a sieve here just to get rid of the lumps you guys can actually see the lumps in my sieve um, and like i said it's because i got a bit distracted initially and yeah it went a bit lumpy so if yours happen to be like this just follow this procedure so you pop it on your sieve and just you know try and scrape it off the the sieve essentially and those lumps will hopefully melt away um so if you don't want to do this process again you can just extract and just throw the rest away essentially so this is what it looks like afterwards this is really nice and creamy it feels so amazing on your hair and also on the skin it's super super amazing so at the moment it's still hot so i'm just going to allow it to cool down before we move on to the next step but i just wanted to show you guys the kind of texture that it had um while it was hot just like you saw there this is now what it looks like when it has cooled down so it's thickened a little bit more if it happens that yours is a bit too thick it's okay put some water in it or some aloe vera juice or anything like that and just liquefy it a little bit more so this texture was just perfectly fine for me now i went in there with some olive oil i used about three tablespoons uh, for this amount of conditioner um, but again alter these quantities based on your preference you can use avocado oil or even another DIY oil that you may have sitting around in the house instead of just leaving it there and not using it definitely add it to your DIY it will definitely help so stir everything nicely and then this is the kind of consistency you end up with so really nice creamy smooth and honestly your hair is going to love this so the way to use this guys is once a week just to give your hair the moisture that it needs and also remember to leave it on the hair for about 45 minutes to an hour before rinsing it off with just warm water you don't need to shampoo your hair after this so that brings me to the end of the video i hope you guys have enjoyed watching and if you did please give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already and i'll catch you in the next video bye